Hello everyone, my name is Ryan. Some people know me as John Dole. Right here in Tokyo, Ghost Loader Support, okay? Now, it's come out that uh, the OI reactor will continue to operate despite um, it not uh, exactly being in line with safety standards. Now, let's explain that a little bit and what's exactly happening here, okay? So, basically, the OI reactor has been operating on the revised safety standards that were devised last year. Um, but not under the new safety standards. The new safety standards actually go into effect July 16th, I believe. But ahead of all that, the uh, Nuclear Regulatory Agency here in Japan has already announced that OI reactor will continue to operate. Um, but they have said that starting in from April, they're going to keep a very close watch on it. But when the new um, standards come in July 16th, they won't be looking at OI to make sure it's in line. They won't be doing that probably till September is what they hint at now. So they're not even going to look at that power plant until probably the end of this year to make sure it's um, safe. All right. Now what does this mean for the average person? Well, what this means is that the government of Japan will not be checking the oil reactor to see if it's safe or not. They're just going to be looking at it, they say, from, from April. That is not an inspection. There's no inspection planned, actually. So this plant, which was restarted under highly controversial uh, conditions, is not going to be watched all that closely until we see it this year. Even when, even when the brand new standards come in effect in July, this plant will not be beholden to that until its normal schedule time. Considering everything that's going on in Japan, wouldn't you think that any time... Uh, safety standards are updated. OI reactor would be the first place to check those standards to kind of show off to see, hey, to say, hey, look, we have got this plan up to par. We do have a safety standard that we can follow, but they're not doing any of that, which leads me to believe nothing's been done at OI nuclear power plant to increase these safety standards they talk about.